we will see uh, about the Xena diode characteristics. So before uh, going to implement practically, we will see how a Xena diode is uh, uh, going to be useful. So Xena diode is heavily doped PN junction diode, specially made up of, uh, made to operate in the breakdown region. A PN junction diode normally does not conduct when reverse biased, but if the reverse bias is increased at a particular voltage, it starts conducting. This voltage is called as a breakdown voltage. Let us see what are the components which are required uh, to find out the Zener diode characteristics. So one, what we require is Zener diode. Second one, uh, a regulator power supply. And uh, we require a voltmeter to measure the voltage. Meter that to a range of 0 to 20 volts. An ammeter. 0 to 20 milliamps. A resistor. Uh, we require a resistor. So to avoid the high, uh, high current, we connect a resistor in series with a Zener diode. So we are going to use a resistor uh, which is of 1 kilo ohm. And uh, for connecting the things, we require a breadboard. And uh, some connecting wires. Now let us see uh, how to draw the circuit diagram for the Zener diode characteristics using the above components. Now we'll start. First, take the regulator power supply, which is of 0 to 30 volts. From that, connect it to the resistor. R1 which is 1 kilo ohm from that connect it to the ammeter to measure the current from ammeter now connect it to the Zener diode So the other end of the Zener diode is connected to the negative supply of your RPS and connect the old meter across your Zener diode to measure the voltage. So now from this circuit I can measure the current as well as voltage of your Zener diode. So with this we can implement uh, the same the breadboard and we'll find out the characteristics of the Zener diode. Let's proceed uh, to implement this one on the breadboard. Now, this is a breadboard what we are going to use to implement the given circuit. So, first of all, the main component what we have here is the Zener diode. As we have said in the starting, like the Zener diode is going to work only in the reverse bias. Now, it is mandatory for us to know the terminals of the uh, Zener diode. So, the black point which you are having that is a cathode the other end this is the anode now uh, we'll use this Zener diode in our experiment let us uh, proceed how to connect so in this given circuit first we are going to use my Zener diode I am placing this Zener diode on the breadboard so this is my cathode and the other end is your anode now connect uh, the power supply we'll proceed the uh, uh, the circuit according to the circuit now I am taking the positive supply here and giving it to your resistor so this is my positive supply I am connecting a positive supply in one of the uh, terminals on the breadboard and the other end of my uh, positive supply is given to the resistor so now the resistor is connected so the other end of the resistor is given to the positive terminal of ammeter 
and two terminal of the ammeter is given to the cathode of the zener diode and the anode of the zener diode is given to the negative terminal of your regulator power supply now observe here the voltmeter is connected across the zener diode so the positive is given to the cathode and negative terminal is given to the anode so this is how we are going to connect uh, the zener diode to find out the characteristics of the zener diode your diagram already we have connected the components and uh, once when we switch on the circuitry all the meters need to show the uh, zero value now according to the uh, procedure to find out the zener uh, diode characteristics as we have said that the zener diode is going to work in the uh, reverse bias what we do here is we will be increasing the voltage in steps so that the change in the voltmeter as well as ammeter will find out and we can show that the current uh, will be zero till the breakdown voltage and once the voltmeter once the voltage is increased beyond the breakdown voltage the current increases and uh, that will show the zener diode characteristics let us proceed now i am increasing the voltage now i am giving an voltage of 1 volt One volt. That when I give the one volt voltage, my voltmeter is showing 0.93. So let us uh, note down some values like the input voltage V in is one volt. The output voltage. Now first of all, uh, we'll take down the readings. So once the input voltage is one volt. Uh, the voltage across the zener diode it is showing as 0.92 and my current is zero again increase the voltage to 2 volts the voltage across the zener diode is 1.84 and the current is zero increasing the voltage to 3 volts volts voltage across the zener diode is 2.77 and there is a small current which you can observe on the ammeter that is 0 0.01 milliamps now still increase the voltage four volts the output voltage is 3.53 and 0.1 milliamps is the current which is flowing in the reverse bias likewise 5 volts it is 4.03 and the current is 0.48 this is the voltage beyond the 5 volts now observe the voltmeter as well as ammeter there is a little bit change in the volt meter means the voltage across the zener diode but the current is going on increasing now you can see here even though my voltage is changed from 4.03 to 4.4 the current is increasing rapidly So like this the current which is flowing in the zener diode in the reverse bias will increase and the voltage will become constant there will be a slight change in the voltage across the zener diode now let us proceed how to draw the graph for the given values so on on the x-axis i am going to take the voltage forward bias and uh, reverse bias 
and y axis i am going to take the current uh, ir current in milliamps so if you increase the voltage as we have said that if you see the tabular column when the voltage is increased the current remaining same that is zero till some point after that the current is increasing as we have shown practically beyond a point the voltage is remaining constant and the current is increasing rapidly that shows that when we draw the graph at a particular point the voltage is constant something like 4.54 volts at this particular point the current is increasing so we can say that this point is a breakdown voltage breakdown voltage and uh, this characteristic curve whatever you are seeing here that is the zener diode characteristics in the reverse bias when it is coming to the forward bias the forward bias characteristics are same as that of the pn junction diode it will be shown in the first this is how we can find out the zener diode characteristics